yeah, they are really awesome. Right here, everyone, we have my invertebrate wall that has my cockroaches and my isopod and kind of just all my insects in general right here. But today we're going to be specifically focusing on my Elpaterina javanica, my hauling hissing cockroaches. Now, I did do a care guide, which I'll link up in the top right corner right here. But today I'm just going to be going over a little bit of the updates that have been going on with these guys. So currently I just keep them in this highly ventilated enclosure. I'm not sure the exact gallon or quart size of this bin, but it's a decently sized enclosure and this is what I've been keeping them in for a few months now. And for something I've noticed with the Halloween Histers, they seem to really like crawling around on wood. So I've included a lot of wood and that type of material in their enclosure setup. I have some spider wood, just some driftwood that I found up north and then a few pieces of cork bark. Right here we actually have a pretty large nymph. It's pretty cool. Getting to this size, they start getting most of their colors, and then in the next few months, they'll turn into an adult. Now, the updates I want to talk about is how that a few months ago, they had these nymphs right here that are starting to finally grow up. And then they had these smaller ones only a few weeks ago that are starting already to get really big. Been around the channel for a while. These guys didn't produce babies for a while, so I'm really glad now that they really started producing babies for me. Take apart more of the wood structure. There might be a few babies running around in here and stuff. But there, I believe there are two females and then three males in here. Here's a smaller male with not as bright colors, but still very pretty. I had to say that I think I've finally gotten the care for these guys down. Let's see if we can find a female in here. The females seem to really like hiding in here. As you can see, the females have really bright eye appealing reds right here, and she's actually really chunky and might be pregnant, who knows? She's looking awesome. There's another female squishing herself in between. And I'll get her out right now. So here's the other female. She has a more darker red color. And what I've noticed, the males have more blacker pronotums right here where their horns normally are. And then the females have red pronotums, which looks really awesome. Now the males can have red pronotums, it's just not as common. Here's side by side what the males and females look like. Normally the females would be larger than the males, but in this case, this male might be a major male in this type of species. But yeah, they are really awesome. Here, here, their faces are actually quite small and really cute, and their horns almost look like an extra set of eyes. They look really cool, aren't they? You guys are really awesome species and very easy. It only took me a few months to get them breeding again where I first got them. But other than that, they've been breeding well. Now, if you've been here for a while, when I first got these guys, they bred like crazy for a few months and after six months, they didn't breed for a while, but I think I finally got their care down. And here's in a container to show how small the nymphs are. They're probably around just the size of the tip of my finger. And then here's just two other smaller nymphs and how big they will get eventually. That's pretty much it for my Halloween Hissers. Um, I will keep you guys updated on how they're doing and stuff, but other than that, there isn't really many other updates on these guys. Hey everyone, so thank you all for watching today's video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe if you want to see more awesome content just like this. If you're new to my channel, videos are out every Friday. See you guys next week. Goodbye everyone.